All right, love. So this is part two. Um, go back to part one to catch up. I'll speak about the reunion. Um, you and your counterpart reconciling your differences. Now, however, um, again, like I said, it's like one of these situations now where you're battling with your ego and your heart. Okay. So let's read transformation and let me show you guys again just in case you're just tuning in and you missed part one so transformation is on 45 so basically what this card is saying is pay attention because miracles are unfolding and transformation is occurring even if you don't see it yet seeing your reality will match your internal desires rid yourself of doubt and avoid logical reasoning <laughs> Whew, which can create inner battles between your head and your heart. If you allow your heart, y'all got to go back and just check out part one, right? Because I talk about all of this. This is so funny. If you allow your, your heart to lead, it will always direct you towards your highest good. This card indicates that you are at a make it or break it point, causing you to resist change and avoiding taking necessary actions. However, facing your fears will lead to tremendous transformation. Remember that obstacles are only teachers. So stay focused on the higher perspective and steer away from making fear-based decisions. I pulled this card. I think it was for yesterday's um, Twin Flame reading, y'all. So definitely check out the other readings I posted. It can help you pull all this together, okay? Now, um, it says here, tune into your inner voice and listen to your heart. Experiencing emotional highs and lows is normal, but don't be rash in taking any type of action. Take the time, right, to review your circumstances in your heart instead of reacting from your head. If you're being guided to end a relationship, change careers, move, or just forgive your past and yourself, follow the, the directions of your heart. It will always lead you towards your destiny, okay? So follow your heart. This is the only path that you can take on this twin flame journey, okay? Now, in this heel abandonment, I mean, this has been the overall theme for the collective period, okay? It's like, this may be one of the lessons I feel like that you, Divine Feminine, have to master, okay? Um, that and rejection is what I just heard. Healing abandonment. All right, 34. And of course, right, this card, like I said, has been coming out, but I'll just recap it real quick. So it says you have experienced abandonment in multiple lifetimes. Wounded stories are subconsciously causing you intense soul pain. It's like if it feels like your heart is breaking over again and it's like a new pain, but it's the same wound. Oh, my gosh. This is why. OK, because this abandonment is embedded into your soul, okay? It's like in your DNA, it's like there, okay? Because you've been carrying it for multiple lifetimes. Um, and it's triggering as hell, it's intense, okay? So if you're feeling like stuck, like if you're feeling like you can't express yourself, but all you know, it's like, it's like a feeling of like your mind could be clear, but your heart is heavy. It's like that heavy heart feeling that you have. Um, I don't, I can't explain. You probably understand what that feeling is. It just feels like you're way down. Um, but of course, this is it's coming from your subconscious. Okay. Now it says here, look, and it says it, this soul pain that makes you easily triggered when you experience rejection or unrequited love. So your masculine, this is literally what they've been doing. Okay. This seems like this has been a common thing. This, this runner chaser dynamic is unrequited love. They're in and out and they've been rejecting you every second that they get okay <laughs> and it's so weird because they really do as soon as the, the the situation gets intense they may even express themselves how much they love you how much they want to be with you and the next thing you know boom they're triggered they're out of there okay um and that's highly triggering to you but it's part of how can i put it it's part of the lessons because this is something that your soul must master OK, now. It says here you have been abandoning your needs. All right. It's like you have to forgive. It's like whatever that traumatic experience was and that influence was, especially when it comes to the unhealthy relationships in your life. It's like it you got to get to the root and, or the, the root of that issue. OK, so don't pay for over the cracks. It's how I'm just I just heard it. But 
um, you've been abandoning your own needs. You've been sacrificing your own self. So this is the same as not loving yourself. All right. So you will move beyond the fear of abandonment when you realize that you caused yourself the pain because you separated from yourself. 515. It is time to forgive yourself for not standing up, for not showing up, for not speaking up, for your need to be heard, to be loved and respected by others. You have to always speak up and show up, okay, for yourself because nobody else is going to do it, not even your divine counterpart. It's like whatever they could have said to you that could have caused you this heart, this heartbreak or done to you, you have to speak up about it. And know and recognize who you are and what you are deserving of, okay? Um, I do feel like for some of you, it may make you feel like you're not enough. And what I just heard is that, you know, the masculines are really projecting their own fears off onto divine feminine on top of that, okay? So you were taught that to experience love, you must earn the love you seek. This produces the need for approval and it creates feelings of rejection and feeling of left being left out or left behind, causing you to justify your actions. Letting go of your old identity is painful because you experience the death of your own former self and patterns. Yet it is necessary for you to create space for a new identity. OK, and I, I understand I get it because abandonment issues is one of the things that I um, I struggled with. OK, rejection and everything feeling left out, feeling left behind, um, all of those things. And I, and I get it. It's like growing up, it felt like I had to earn the love or I had to prove myself, right? In order to be acknowledged or to be recognized. It all, I always felt like an outcast. I always felt like um, I wasn't enough, okay? It's like being compared to everybody else. And it was just like, I was, literally, I felt like the black sheep. But having to be, you know, compared to other family members or compared to friends. And, you know, it's just it's just a lot. It's a lot that will cause you to feel like you always got to try to prove that you are worth loving. And what the situation is trying to show you is that you have to recognize that you are worthy and worth loving and you got to speak it. You have to feel it. These are one of the experiences here um, that, well, how can I say it? This is what this experience here is trying to show you and to teach you about loving yourself. This is the main purpose of your twin flame in your life, okay, to show you about loving and healing yourself, your own self-love, your own self-empowerment. All right. And again, like I said, it's like, it's, it's hard because you're dying to an old version of yourself to try to create this new person, this new you. And when you got pain, this deeply embedded, it's always a lot of consistent work. You always are going to have to constantly keep working at this area, but it will get easier as time goes by, as long as you keep utilizing the tools to heal yourself. Okay. Um, and of course, as you know, you don't have to do anything to get your person back. You just have to focus on your own self, right? You got to just do that. And they come back because they are you. Okay. It's like, once you take your attention away from them, then they feel the disconnect. But if your attention is always focused on this person and you're always wondering and you're obsessing over what happened and you're obsessing over what they're thinking or what they're doing or who they are with, this is also what kind of like puts them in that runner energy, okay? Um, you gotta let go of the old identity, y'all, okay? I know it's a lot to ask for, you, know, and I feel like if you're on this twin flame journey for for a real soul's evolution, then these steps are definitely necessary. It's like moving forward and helping um, to the capacity that you're called to help. It's nearly impossible if you're still walking around with abandonment issues, with issues of rejection, with issues of not feeling like you're good enough. How can you lead someone and you don't even believe it yourself? Okay, so that's why that aspect of it is important. And we're not on this journey to sit up here and get a person back that's already a part of us. They are you. Okay, so remember, we are not our mind. So get out of that separation consciousness when it comes to your divine counterpart, because there's no separating the two. All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready to go. I love you guys. Have a good weekend. Peace.